welcome back to my channel um so i haven't filmed in a very 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 long time what was my last video mm -hmm. like two weeks ago yeah so my sister's with me um she's gonna be sorry if the, it's a fan though sorry if the fan's too loud um but she's gonna be with me she's gonna be watching halloween town so i might need a yeah no i don't like them today but i'm gonna be like squinting a little bit um so for today's video i'm gonna do um a haul like a shopping haul um i didn't record like at the stores or anything i'm just gonna like tell you guys what i got and how much everything was so i went to three stores i went to discovery ross Target and I got something from five and below. Yeah. Um so you guys are gonna be hearing like the bags and stuff. Um so life update. Um I have explained this many 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 times in other videos, but I'm not posting them just because I don't really like them. But um life update I got a job and I'm working at a doctor's office, so I was hired two weeks ago and um and i had my interview three weeks ago so yeah this is my third week there and i love it it's kind of, it's like my vibes my type of job um i was working in a hospital previously and i loved it so i wanted to um be in that environment again so I applied there. I applied to two jobs and I had two interviews. The first one I did not get. Well, I never even got a yes or no, but I, I'm gonna assume that I didn't get it. Um, and then the second one, they let me know like a week later that I got it. So, so far, I'm loving it. Um, I'm getting to know like so many people. I'm getting to know like the like medical terminology and like pretty much like the batteries <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you guys what I got for five below so I can give her back the remote with no batteries sorry my cat is like driving me crazy but yeah so it's like my dream job not my yeah, yeah not my dream job but like my second dream job I feel um I don't know like what the future holds for me just yet um but positive vibes and i'm hoping that soon i'll be going to grad school see where life takes me um so yeah um you see the tv in mm -hmm. um but i'm gonna show you guys what i got from five below i only got one thing but it's something that i have been wanting to get and it was only five dollars um, so I got this. So this is a facial brush. It's electronic. It's one facial brush and four attachments. So it's the, so let me take it out the box. You know, I'll just give you the, the things now because I'm not going to turn it on. They probably already know how it works. Yeah. Mm. So the first one, so it has three parts. So the first part is this like regular brush. Um, so this is a cleansing head and it's used for general facial cleansing, helping to remove makeup, oil, and excess dirt. The bristles not only clean deep within pores, but mildly exfoliates the skin. So, I feel like this is going to be my favorite one because, like, I don't know, this brush is, like, so soft. Huh. But, um, they have the off and then they have the low setting and then the high. Low, off. And then the next brush that they have, well, the attachment is a sponge. And it promotes the absorption of beauty creams and moisturizers. Oh, it abs <laughs> it promotes the absorption of beauty creams and moisturizers. 
It mildly mildly exfoliates the skin while working creams deep. While it's so crazy because now that I'm rewatching this, I completely understand what it was trying to tell me. Um, I just that didn't understand it in this it video, and now I feel Look like a goofy. Sponge. Yeah, so this is the sponge. Okay, but for five dollars, even though it's not gonna last like forever, I I think it's like really like nice. Um, we'll see how long it lasts i'll let you guys know i'm probably gonna use it tonight and see so this one is a rolling massager this attachment massages the face which helps to stimulate cell growth and enhances elasticity in the skin so i think you have a roller right a face roller what does it do mm -hmm. what does it do it skin. and what is like it tightens it mm -hmm. and then the next one is a Pumis pumice stone it gently exfoliates leaving skin feeling soft and smooth so this is more of a hard attachment yeah. um it's kind of like it kind of feels like what you use on the feet you know when they like scrape your feet yeah so that's that one but we're gonna try this and i'll let you guys know in the so video. i just woke up and i'm gonna be trying um this like i showed you guys in my video I'm gonna be trying it with one of my boxy charm things, um, so I'm not gonna show that, but I'm gonna show like me using it. So yeah. I gotta let you guys know that there's only four items <laughs> instead of five because. Miss Michelle over here lost the cap and it dried out my eyeliner. It dried out. Yup. So I'm just gonna be using my old Boxy Charm eyeliner for that look because Miss Michelle over here made my eyeliner dry out. <laughs> so here, Michelle, you can take that battery to that. But yeah, so the next store, the first store I went to, Five Below was actually the second to last store. Right. So the first store I went to was Discovery. Yeah. So the first store I went to was Discovery, and I haven't been there in years. And I rem and I remember why. I do remember why I haven't been there in years. Um, Discovery has, oops, it's shaking. Discovery has really cute clothes, but not for big chested girls, which kind of sucks because everything is like crop top ish or if you're if something that does fit me it's the cardigans but like nothing else and the jeans like michelle said that there were some jeans that were like wax jeans that stretch but i didn't find any of my size so now i remember i remember why and i remember the last time i went there was for a, like a cookout and I was looking for just a shirt, like a simple shirt that I could wear and like I was so angry because it was like last minute and I thought like oh I'm gonna go to Discovery, it's gonna be like, it's gonna like, I'm gonna find a shirt there because it's Discovery but I did not find a shirt, I couldn't find anything and then that's like the day I told myself like never again, I'm not going um, to Discovery again. Um, um so when i went yesterday well me and my sister i told her like let's go to the stores and i was like i want to try discovery again like i want to give it a second chance like with the clothes i get there and like i do see nice cute cardigans like but more like for fall not even for like do not record my bottom oh my god <laughs> but um for fall i found like some cardigans but nothing else like i didn't find not one shirt in my size like it's crazy um but i was looking at the shoes and i did find two pairs of shoes and where did i put my black ones oh they're in here oh so the first thing that i got from the first thing that i found there were these cute sandals 
So these, you guys wouldn't believe, is only $4.99. $4.99 for these little cute sandals. Um, the second thing I bought, is that too long? I don't think, sorry if you guys hear. You be nosy? You be nosy? You wanna say hi to Camel? Yeah, tell him hi. She's in her brat stage. Um, but the second thing I found were these cute shoes again, put them, which I already wore today. But I found these cute shoes. Yes, these are super cute. And these were only 10 bucks. So here's the other pair. It's open, but these were only 10 bucks. And like for this, like this is super cute. And I've always wanted like some that fit my, my feet. So yeah. And then I bought a third thing. And if you guys are all wondering why I was able to buy some of this stuff, uh, Kevin sent me money to go on a shopping spree. So I didn't. Um, so these are these. They're super cute. And then the third thing I bought, which is like, I feel like going out of my comfort zone, are these cute clips. So these were $4.99. So, um, I used to wear clips like all the time. So, yeah, I used to wear clips all the Penny, Michelle. <laughs> She's like so, she's in her like terrible twos or something. But I used to wear clips all the time. Oh my god, this is so cute. I love this. Um, ow. Ow. Um, when I was like, like 12 to 16, I wore these clips. Not these like, like, you know, rhinestone ones, but I wore, um, like regular ones, you know, without the rhinestones, without anything like that. But I wore them for soccer, and I remember Andrea introducing them to me. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna see how I can like style these. But so that was from my, what I got from Discovery. And together at Discovery, I wasted $28 for three things. I feel like that's a good amount. Okay. Um, the next thing, oh, and I bought, um, I bought undies, but I can't show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the black ones. There's nothing inappropriate about them. It's just that I feel weird <laughs> showing my underwear. So these are the black ones. It's, it comes in the three pack. That's why it was 28, three, 28, because these underwear were $6.99. So for three pairs. $6.99 but yeah um and then from Ross no should I do Ross last mm -hmm. bigger okay so from uh, from um Target I only got one thing and I got underwear <laughs> so I got these Hanes underwear it comes with nine and I like the um briefs so they're the ones that like like are like high-waisted not like super high-waisted but like they like they're like a little bit up because i don't like i don't like those short ones like the ones that only meet right there at your like waistline oh i hate those they make me so mad um especially me because i'm like a bigger girl so i need like underwear that's gonna like support me if you're a big girl and you're watching this comment so I can tell you where to get your underwear um and then Ross so that this is the last store yeah so Ross um I actually this was a two pair but I'm wearing them because I wore one of the things that I wore at, um bought at Ross so I got this two pack the other ones are um black so I got this two pack like Bike or biker shorts, but they're not they're not to wear out like this. They're for like under dresses and stuff. Um, I got these because if you know me, I loved like my thighs are big, so 
when I wear dresses, I need to wear shorts under, like, no, no exceptions. So I got these because dresses are uncomfortable for me because when they're too short, I feel weird and I'm, like, scared that I'm going to flash someone or it's going to be too short. So I got these, which they, re they meet, like, really good in the thigh. Um, I can't remember. These were $10. $10 for these. Um... The next thing I got was this dress. So I got this black and white dress. Um, that's the bottom. I wish I can like show the whole thing, but I got this black and white dress. Um, I wore it today, and if it's really cute, I wore it with the um, black shoes that I got, and it's like it's short, but like it's it's my short like my short is like mid thigh other people's short it's like under butt but mine this was like on the short side and i wore it to work and i felt super cute and i felt like professional as heck so yeah i wore this and this was only 8.99 8.99 at ross literally like this cute dress for 8.99 so i got this and i felt super confident in it like I had to ask Michelle like a couple times, sure, little okay, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, it's really fine. Um, but it looked really cute on me. And I re I felt really comfortable because I had those shorts on. I did wear shorts, another pair of shorts under. Um, I wore my soccer shorts under. I'm telling you, like, wearing shorts under my dress is like, I need to. I can't, I cannot wear a dress and not have shorts. Like, I've always been like that since before. Like, when I used to play soccer all the time, I always wear wore um soccer shorts under my dresses yeah and then the second thing i got which i can't wait to wear is this cute um navy blue dress with flowers so this is the front and then the bottom this is so cute i can't wait to wear it so this one costs 8.99 that's so crazy to me but 8.99 for this cute dress um and then my sister matched me up because I've, okay, so something I have right here, let me show you guys right now, I've always wanted to buy, but I never knew how to wear it, I never knew if I should buy it, like I was like so hesitant to even like look at one and think like, oh I could wear that, but like, you know, self love is best love, like I always tell you guys, and I got this, so people think like this is just a normal bra or like, it's like lingerie or something but this is literally like just like a casual bra so it's like halter and i love it like i love the color so i'm planning to wear this with this to make it like casual but yeah so we're gonna see my sister works at a um clothing store so she's like the outfit person so we're gonna see how this looks but yeah i got this dress for 8.99 and then I got this bralette for $5.99. Yeah. So I went on a huge haul. And then the last thing I got was um, some black jeans. So, yeah. And then these jeans were $13.99. But they're just regular black jeans. I needed them for work. Um work is like professional like they say business casual but i always see like the people wearing like the people that can wear regular clothes they're always wearing like like business you know like always have their stuff with them like cardigans like cute stuff so i was like yeah i need to do that but um yeah so that was my haul um looks like this is a pretty short video um but yeah guys i just wanted to say like i missed you guys like i missed filming it's been a crazy um it's been a crazy couple days couple weeks actually we had like a big order last week right last week it was 12 shirts and me and my sister worked hard like for the three days because we got the shirts kind of late and then the person really wanted them like as soon as possible so we worked really hard for like three days straight and I would go like nine to five 
at work and then I'd work from like once I got home like until like 10 p.m. right 10 11 p.m. so I didn't get like no breaks or nothing but um, before that um, I I guess I should just tell you guys like about my story about what happened so I applied for a job at a high school a Catholic high school and I I knew in my last video like that I posted two weeks ago I knew that I had a um, I had a um, interview but I I didn't want to talk about it because you no know, like we never know who's watching us especially on YouTube where it's like nothing private like you're putting it all out there like no privacy so I didn't want to say anything about an interview because people out there are very envious and very jealous so I was like you know what I'm just gonna wait and see how it goes um, long story short I didn't get the job I went to the interview I had a really nice outfit I had a blazer and some nice shoes and some nice cute like nude heels and um, I I was really like I felt really confident I went in there like really like just like very strong and then um, I think the reason why I wasn't hired is because of my age because she really put an emphasis on my age like she was really like so you're 23 like not even 23 but like almost 23 straight out of college like you literally like you're really young and she just kept saying that and I was like I'm I was like I most likely know like this is not gonna I'm not gonna get hired for this but that's because I'm young and I wasn't gonna say anything you know like people my friend was like you should like report it for discrimination and I was like no it's okay like it just wasn't meant for me that's it you know and um so she told me to wait so I went on the interview on Monday she told me to wait until Tuesday the week after and I was like okay I'll wait so then Monday came and I was like dang like nothing not one thing and then Tuesday came and I got a call no 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 Monday came and I didn't hear nothing back um and then I applied to this job like three weeks before they gave me a call like three weeks and I didn't even apply right I apply I applied through Facebook and I just said that I worked at OSF and I graduated from Lane and gradu graduated from Bradley like and then I submitted it they didn't even give me a chance to put in my resume or anything like I didn't I didn't apply like the way you know traditionally like uh email your resume or like and then they said no phone calls please and i was like okay well i'm just not gonna call them because even though i wasn't able to send my resume i was like well i can't call them so i'm just gonna wait and then three weeks later i received a call and i was like okay two and nine number and i thought it was the bishop no the high school that i was trying to get into and she was like hi nicole i saw that you applied to this job and like um, I was wondering if you can come in for an interview Tuesday or Thursday, bring an updated resume and references. I was like, I'll be here tomorrow. Like, it was Monday, and I was like, I'll be there tomorrow at 2. She was like, okay, sounds good. We'll see you then. And then I went, and I, I was super nervous. I went in, and it was like, it wasn't a traditional interview. It was, you know how you walk in, they're like, so tell me about yourself, or uh, why should we hire you? Um, no, she just said, this is what we need this is what we want we need a person who's like this and a person who does this and I was like that's me I was like that's me like I can do that and I was like I will take this job seriously but it, she didn't really ask me questions she just told me like so you just graduated and I was like yes <laughs> she's like you're on track and I was like yes <laughs> and she was just like um so this is what I'm looking for and I was like okay I was like that sounds just like my last job um, but it's nowhere near like my last job. Honestly, it's so much crazier and so much harder. But um, yeah, and then she was like, I have two more interviews on Thursday. Um, and by Thursday, I will know. <laughs> She's always trying to lay down next to Tina. Um, but she was like, by Thursday, I will know and you'll know. And I was like, okay. I was like, I'll wait until Thursday. I told everybody like, oh, let's just wait until Thursday. Wait until Thursday. And like in the middle of that i like became so like nervous and thursday came nothing like 
no call nothing and then right when i knew that thursday passed come friday like i was so depressed like so depressed i was crying and crying and crying and crying like kevin had to come over like three days in a row and just come and talk to me because i was like i really can't be without you like he really makes me like really brings me comfort and really makes me happy so i was like you need to come like soon like i really need to see you i don't feel good and like he was there for me he brought me food like i didn't even eat like i didn't eat um and you know me i'm a foodie like i love food <laughs> so when i didn't eat i was like damn like this is actually like pretty serious and then i took a depression test um online and i got a 24 out of 27 and it said i was severely depressed and you can't like calculate it calculate depression online like you can't diagnose yourself but i did know like how bad it was and a 24 out of 27 like that's bad so that's why i'm explaining to you guys like why i haven't posted because i did i did record but the recordings are literally me sitting there telling you guys like i don't know guys like i don't know what to do and then i was like let me find a video title for you guys and like like a video topic and then i would start the video and i'll be like no i don't wanna i don't i don't like this and then i'd end it and then i did a challenge with my sister-in-law emily um but then it deleted <laughs> so that's like ugh. and then we did another like get ready with us deleted like i don't even know what happened to these videos and then i did another one like this weekend and like i didn't like it like it just i wasn't very motivated like i just wasn't feeling right and then i was like you know what like why am i gonna record something that i'm not happy about so yeah but um yeah so i feel it i feel better i feel more confident and i got the job so friday came nothing and then monday came and i talked to my mom and i was like mom like i'm gonna just apply to mcdonald's like they're doing open interviews like i'm just gonna go because like i just want a job i don't even care what job at this point she was like yeah she's like as long as you find a job like it doesn't matter where you work and i was like okay she's like as long as you don't stop looking too she's like don't stop looking for a job like don't like keep keep looking but you know apply to where you want and i was like gonna apply to la michicana like i was literally desperate and then um yeah um then that monday like a few minutes like 30 minutes to an hour after i had that conversation with my mom i was like you know what time to move on like like you win some you lose some and i didn't get hired and then um yeah an hour or so later i got a call and i was like i know this number and i was like it's the office and yeah so she said i wanted to extend your offer and yeah and she was like um yeah i'm gonna send you an email i was like yes yes i was like i accept like i really want to work so yeah she was like can you come tomorrow and i was like yes i'll be there so yeah i was hired and this time i'm on my third week and then another good news is that me my sister my mom and me we started working out uh this morning so i feel good i went cute to work i had a dress on heels like everything like i'm doing so much better so sorry guys for you know being late and like not being consistent with you guys i promise to be more consistent and you know include you guys more on my days while wow, my hair looks really curly Oh. but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna be doing the boxy charm review soon um half boxy charm because miss michelle over here dry out my eyeliner but yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching continue to like and subscribe i'm gonna get this boxy charm video probably in the next day or two um you know drop some comments um, let me know that you guys are still there. I know it's hard to be there when I'm not there. So I'm like, I need to be more consistent. And guys, add me on Instagram, on Twitter, or whatever. I do have my Twitter private. Um, Instagram is private. So just, like, follow me down below, you know? Like, follow me anyway, and I'll accept you guys. Um, just depends. Because um, Instagram is mine and Kevin's. So I need people that he's going to be comfortable with. And, like, so we'll see um but i'm on facebook but it's not it's more like family friendly so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching 
and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see. And yeah, we'll get to that. Thank you. Bye.